Welcome back to another episode of Fixing Tech on My Kitchen Table. If you've watched my last videos, you'll have seen that I've been trying to fix the Wonderswan colour. I've diagnosed that the uh, the power button doesn't work. Um, and on one of my last videos, I tried uh, fixing it with a pencil as recommended by my dad, and that didn't work. So I ordered, um, I don't know what it's called, but it, it's it's basically carbon in a in a tube. It's basically for um, basically fixing bits like this and, and what have you. Um, it looks kind of dangerous because it, it comes in a really sharp um, like syringe needle thing so no doubt I'm going to inject myself with this but um, I don't want to do that so um, the issue is that there's not enough carbon or the carbon's worn off or the graphite or whatever it is from the back of this um, this button so I'm assuming I just lather it on wait for it to dry and um, we'll see what happens what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on here because I don't want to stab myself. Ooh, all right. well, that's helpful, isn't it? It came, came squirting out the end. But I uh, don't want to put too much on. It's only a small button. Oh dear. Making a right pig's ear of this. I'm guessing what I need to do is slather it on and then take it off. Just so there's a small layer of whatever it is. It's conductive material, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah. Let me just find something to wipe that off. <coughs> I'm going to lightly rub it off just to get rid of the excess. See if I can rub some of it back on. Now I'm assuming I'll leave this to. I'm taking it all off now. I'm assuming I'll leave this to dry. So I'll do that and I'll. Uh, Come back when it's done and see if it works. I'm making a right pig's ear of this. Right, I'm just going to whack it on my finger and massage it in. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Of course, make sure you get rid of all the excess because you don't want anything else shorting out. That might be in contact with the rubber. So, spread that out a little bit more. Right, I'm going to leave that to dry. I'll come back and we'll reassemble it and we'll see what happens. Right, um, it's been drying for about an hour. Um, I also use the hairdryer a bit as well. It, it sets like paint, to be honest. So, so, I mean, you can just leave it and it'll dry quickly, but. Um, I just use the hairdryer to help it out. So whack it back in the Wonder Swamp. Put the cover on. I'm going to screw it in at the time. Get the game in. Moment of truth. Hey, look at that. Brightness. As you can hear, it is working. Look at that. So, 99p from eBay, as everything else is. Um, you can get, you can fix your Wonder Swan or any other button which is not conducting or not turning on with a bit of conductive paint um, from eBay. Piece of cake, eh? That's it for this episode of Fixing Tech on My Kitchen Table. See you next time for something else that we're going to fix.